please welcome my first guest, the ultimate multi-hyphenate. Supermodel, author, artist, entrepreneur, girly, woman, and icon, Emily Ratajkowski. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Jombo, thank you for coming. How are you? I'm doing swell. Emily, did you know that this episode was inspired by you? I did. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what exactly does empowerment mean to you? I don't know what empowerment means. I had to Google the definition of empowerment. What did it say? Just like something that makes a woman feel a certain type of way. Oh, wow. Yeah. You did an essay in New York Magazine called Buying Myself Back. How does buying back images of yourself compare to black people buying themselves out of slavery? I, I definitely think that um, my situation was, does not compare. And what situation is the other situation? <laughs> Um, I think that um, the other situation is, is very different and really not really, you can't really compare it. You're a New York Times bestseller. Did you know that Zora Neale Hurston was buried in an unmarked grave? Wow. I didn't. So you went on a press tour, and this is one of the, your press events. Yes. It's Emily Ratajkowski, Tarana Burke, and Anita Hill. Mm -hmm. Now, one of these things is not like the other. That is true. It's shocking to see that image. Did you have any lessons to offer these two black women? No, I no. did not. Okay. It was an honor to be with them, that yes. is for sure. Or was the honor theirs? No. So people have described our friendship as, quote, random and illogical and bad. Mm -hmm. um, one Reddit user wrote, I don't think they're friends. I think they're just set up to mutually benefit each other's PR. Z-Way gets access to Emily's IG followers and fashion connections. Emily appears to be woke. Mm. So how do you interpret someone saying this is a PR relationship? I don't like it. Do you think that I bring wokeness to your life? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Well, I, that, know, I feel like I'm the sorry. answer should be yes. Do you bring it? You, you, um... We bring it to, we... We bring wokeness yeah, together. together, empowerment. Yeah. You empower me towards wokeness. And you empower me towards fashion. Dark. Now, out of the two of us, who empowers more white women? Um, I don't know. I don't have data on that. If you had to guess. I don't know. I don't, I can't guess. You might empower a lot of white women. Wow. <laughs> Are we empowering in the same way? I'm just a little confused on the definition of empowerment. Um, but we um, both empower women to make things and make money and oh. build brands and, you know, do that kind of stuff. Yes, so. I love empowering women to make money and build things. Yeah. Now, in the spirit of empowerment, what's the most empowering thing about a friendship with a black woman? Um, well, my friendship with you as a black woman is um, just great because you're a lot of fun. <laughs> Why do you sound like you're and under duress? Really like, and I really like you and um, you're a good friend. I think the least empowering thing about you is that you're a Gemini. What's the least empowering thing about me as a Pisces? I mean, black woman. Y your rising is what's really empowering about you, right? So you're, you're empowered by the sexual energy I emit. Yes, and just like your big energy, and then it turns out like you're really sweet. Your favorite subway there. station is Times Square. You are horrible at that game. Please look to camera, and someone start sobbing. Is this allyship to the black community? And also you have the same sign as my son. Yes. I actually identify with your son because he's a baby, and yes. I... Yes, goo goo gaga. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How many black friends do you have? I don't answer that question. <laughs> There's one looking at you right now. That's true. That's, that's nice. As your friend, I know that you prefer to be called Emily over Emrata. Why is that? That's not necessarily true. Mm. Really? Yeah, I don't know who started that rumor, but Emrata's it feels a little here. less, like, personal. Got it. Speaking of personal, do you know my name? I don't know how to say your last name, but I actually know that you didn't know how to say my last name either. Radikowski. You just learned that. What are you talking you about? You checked in with it's me phonetic. before we started. It is and not I phonetic. Was like, you know, we rolled the, the J tapes. is silent. You're deflecting because you don't know how to say I my last name. I, okay, I don't know. Wow. I'm sorry, I guess I'm not a good friend. I guess not. Now let's look at some photos of you with your real friends. This is you and uh, uh, Amy Schumer at a protest. Mm. Do you only go to protest with your white friends? That one I was with a white friend. 
but I do not only go to protest with white friends. What races do you go to protest with? All races. Which races? All races. Like which? Like all races. Like name a race. Why do you want me to name a race? Because this show is annoying. <laughs> okay. As someone who turned to modeling full-time during the 2008 financial crisis, what empowered you to realize that being a young, beautiful white woman was recession-proof? Probably right then, right in 2008. You looked in the mirror one day and you were like, I think I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Could you please to your camera? No, no. But I will say this, you're a fantastic businesswoman. What negotiation tips can you give to empower a black woman? Um, I think anyone should know their worth and charge up. So you're telling me as a black woman to know my worth. Thanks. No, thanks. Mm. Thanks. 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 Well, thank you for this interview. What do you qualitatively like about Black people? Is it empowering to know that there are women out there who have stolen your face? How many Black friends do you have? Michelle Obama or Oprah? I'm gonna say Oprah there. What do you like about Oprah? I just think she's cool and I have like some beef with Michelle. I mean, Michelle's amazing, um, but her husband's politics. Wow.